Hi, Subject17 here, your friendly Xbox ambassador. Today I'm going to be showing you what steps you'll need to take to try to resolve the Xbox error code 8015194. Now this error code is perhaps one of the most nightmarish ones because there really is no fixed explanation as to what causes this code to come up, but the general consensus is that it's linked to your gamer tag. Now before we go on with this video, I will warn you that you are going to need your email address and password associated with your gamer tag. If you have forgotten either of those, then please check the video description because I've left a link in there that will take you to the official Xbox website and the page that you need to be able to do password and email retrieval, or both. So please feel free to pause the video and go do a retrieval because you will be needing those things. So there are a lot of steps that we need to go through to try and do this remedy. Now I will warn you as well that this doesn't work for everybody. It's very temperamental. It is a headache to try to clear. But these steps, for the majority of you, it should fix your issue. So from the home page, what we want to do is press the guide button and go to the right to settings. And then we want to come down to system settings and go to network settings. So what we're going to do here is we're going to test our network connection. So just come to here to test live connection. This will sign you out just to start with. Now along any of this process, if you get like a red triangle or a yellow triangle, then you have a bit of an issue and that is connected to your internet. So the best idea then is just to maybe restart your router and that should and then do this test again and that should clear that problem for you now while you're at this point here you want to press the y button to go to status and we need to check something in there now as you can see there's a load of numbers in and on that z line if you have the error code on there or any number in there that says 8015-190d then you've actually been banned from Xbox and that will cause your problem. So for that, you must contact Xbox support. Now here on my Y line, it says 20884840. For me, that's actually a network connection issue, but I'm not worried about it because it's not really affecting me. So, you know, at any point I, I can just do another retest and it should work fine. Now we go to storage and you want to select the drive that you would normally use for your games. Now you go to games and apps and what you want to do is just scroll through all of your games and if any of them, instead of a picture icon, if any of them have a yellow triangle with a white exclamation mark in, then delete the game and go and re-download it because that yellow triangle with the white exclamation, it actually means that your game is corrupt and that can actually be another cause of this error code coming up. So I can see from here that all of my games are absolutely fine. There's nothing for me to worry about here. So now we want to come down to profiles and what we want to do is actually delete our profile off. So scroll down, find your profile, select it and hit delete. Now you need to delete profile only. Please do not do delete profile and items. That will cause you some problems. It's just delete profile only. And that happens pretty darn quickly. So now come out of that. And what we want to do is go to the hard drive again. And this time, instead of selecting it, press Y for device options and clear the system cache. Now, what we want to do here is we want to do this three times in a row. Now, all this does, you won't lose anything. This is just like clearing your internet browsing history. It just, just gets rid of all kinds of files that really aren't needed. So yeah, as I said, do that three times. From here we want to switch off the console, so press and hold your guide button 
select turn off console and you want to leave it switched off for no less than 10 seconds. Now once you've switched your Xbox back on, we need to go and retrieve our gamer tag again. So what you want to do is just press your silver guide button and come down to that part that says download profile. So select that and then choose the option to download the profile. Now this is where it's going to ask you to enter your email address and your password so I'll let you do that. Now if you get this come up to say the email address isn't linked just make sure you haven't made any typing errors um, because I deliberately put a typing error in here just to get that box to come up for you. So after the email address it will ask for your password and from here we just need to select the hard drive we want to save it to it will start to download your profile. Now this can actually take a couple of minutes to do. Now often what I find while I'm doing the chat support sessions with people and I get them to go through this process, I know that gamertags can take quite a long time to actually download and I often get people that will give me like two or three seconds and just say, didn't work but at that point I know that they haven't followed the steps that I'm getting them to do because as I said these profiles take quite a while to download and so yeah just if you're being told to go through this process at any point then you must take these steps because if you don't you're just cheating yourself out of a possible resolution so anyway I'm going to speed up this video so we can just skip through this Now when it's downloaded you're going to get the option here to tick the box for remember password and now you can sign in. Now at this point hopefully this should resolve the 80151904 issue but what you will find here is that you would have lost your background theme but I'll show you how to get that back it is so easy so from here we just scroll over to social and then we highlight our avatar there select it and then just scroll down here to change theme and obviously change it to what you want it to be for me I normally just pick my Xbox ambassador one or one of my Assassin's Creed ones so this should have resolved your issue. If it has not, repeat the process for a maximum of three times. If you are still having trouble, please see the video description and there's a link in there to contact Xbox support. Now you are going to need some technical support intervention. Now somebody there, uh, whichever method you go through, either via chat support, which is where I sit, or a tweet, uh, Twitter, somewhere like that, somebody will be able to give you a telephone number to call for technical support. And they're normally pretty good in resolving things like this. Um, however, it can take some time if you go through them, but at least we've tried these steps first. So if you do speak to technical support, please make sure that you tell them that you've been through these steps already. Otherwise, they're just going to take you through the whole process again. Meanwhile, I hope you have found this video helpful. If you have, please hit me up with a like and feel free to subscribe because I don't normally do these videos. I'm all about the fun of gaming. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.